Hello, I am going to get started in just a couple of minutes. I always like to give the first few minutes for people to join in, um, just to get people who might not like join on the dot. I want to give people a couple minutes before I really dive in. So I'm going to just like start setting up here, getting my things prepared. But today we're talking about makeup, which I'm so excited because I haven't done makeup yet here. I haven't shared makeup products. I have been focused on um, fashion and clothing. And so I'm excited to get into a few makeup products. I am, these brands are new to me. They are clean beauty brands, which is very exciting. I'm doing my best to try to like hop on the clean skincare and makeup products as much as I can. So I'm really excited to use these today. And we are going to be doing a no makeup makeup look, which I think is all of our favorites, right? You you want to wear makeup because you want to look a little bit more put together. You want to hide those pores. You want to look more alive. You want to look fresh, but you don't want to look like you have makeup on. I think that's like the goal, um, especially over the last couple of years. I think that has gotten way more popular. Um, people wanting to look put together and fresh, clean, all of that, but not look like you have makeup on, or at least not that it's like caked on. So I'm gonna give it another minute. I'm just looking at something over here real quick to get my ducks in a row. And then we'll get started. Okay. All right, let's get started. Um, I also wanted to mention, if you join this live, please say hello. Um, this is supposed to be interactive. I want you guys to be talking to me, um, sending through messages so that I can answer them as I'm like applying the makeup and talking through it. I really want this to be interactive and this should feel fun. Like we're hanging out, I'm doing my makeup. It's like, like I'm sitting with my girlfriends when we're all doing our makeup, like getting ready for the night. That's like one of my favorite things ever to do with my best friends and always has been. I have like such good memories of doing that with them, like all throughout school, high school, college is just like sitting with your girlfriends and like doing your makeup together and you're just chatting away. So I want this to feel like that. So please just say hello. Even if you don't have a question, just make a comment. I definitely want this to feel interactive and like we're all hanging out. So I'm going to get into it um, and I'm going to present the first product that I will be applying. Sadly, this is sold out, but nothing else is sold out that I will be sharing. And I have four products, one, two, three, I actually have five products. So I'm going to present this, but I know that it's sold out and I know that stinks, but maybe you can at least just click on it, check the brand out. Um, they're supposed to have really good skincare. So this is Zellens. This is their velvet primer. It says it's mattifying and pore refining. So one of my biggest skincare concerns are my pores. So when I saw that this like pore refining, I was intrigued. I love a primer that's just going to like mattify and like fill in those pores so that they're not as obvious when you put makeup on. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. That is what the formula looks like. Maybe I shouldn't have put so much, but I'm looking at a mirror that's right here for me. I actually want to get like real up close and personal so I can like really see the difference when I apply this. Sorry, I'm like getting real up close to the camera here, but I just want to see, it feels really nice on the skin, that's for sure. And I do have oily skin, so my skin is oily in my T-zone and then pretty normal everywhere else. So I like mattifying products because, again, I typically get pretty oily on my T-zone. This product smells nice, too. Well, it feels really nice. It's definitely velvety for sure. It feels really nice on the skin. 
Um, I'm going to put on a little headband here so my hair doesn't keep getting in the way. The next product I will be applying, I'm really excited about, actually. Um, I applied it this week. I was playing with some of the other products beforehand just so I can get like a better sense of them before I shared with you guys. And this foundation is so bomb. Um, so I'll be applying it again for the third time today with you guys. All right, this hopefully will help me so that my hair is not getting in the way. Okay, foundation. This is the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. Um, I actually, my hair's like really bothering me like that. Sorry. Let me just put it on again. Okay. So if you are just joining us now, um, I am going to do be doing like a no makeup makeup look. I know that's everyone's favorite. That's my favorite just because, um, you know, you want to look put together and you want this headband is just not doing it for me. So <laughs> never mind. I'm just going to clip it back. But everyone loves a no makeup makeup look. Um, products that just make your skin look like your own when you apply them. I think that is like the goal for everyone. So I'm going in with this and I need to present this product to you guys. Okay, I'm presenting it now. So I'm going in with this Kosas Tinted Face Oil. Um, and I also have the box here so that I can, so I remembered what shade I have. I have shade 5.5, which is a medium, which is medium with olive undertones. I tend to have olive undertones, so that's why I chose this one. I'm 100% Portuguese, so I do have that olive skin tone. So this is really nice on me. So it's makeup meets skincare, which is my favorite thing now. Like I'm always going towards makeup products that are skincare as well. So they're not just, you know, going to like cake on your face and clog up your pores and do, you know, clog them up and make you break out. I want them to also be skincare. I think that is awesome. So the fact that this product is that already like is a winner in my book, but then also it's really nice and I'm gonna apply it for you guys in a second. Um, but it says it's a feather, featherweight, light to medium coverage foundation and deeply hydrating skin elixir. So that's what I love about it. It is buildable. You can, it's going to be medium. It's not going to be full coverage, but again, this is a no makeup makeup look. And this is for when you're kind of just like, you know, you don't want to, it's not full glam. You're not going to a wedding or a special event. It's kind of just more for every day. So it says to shake well, and then I'm going to apply it directly to my face because when I tried it earlier this week, I noticed that the formulation was pretty watery. So when I like put it on my hands, it kind of just like went everywhere. So I'm gonna apply it directly to my face at first and then blend it out. As you guys can see, it's super liquidy, watery formula. So I'm gonna do that to both sides and then maybe apply more as I need it. And because this is so watery, I'm going to apply it with a brush or um, I would do it with my fingertips. I actually, I'm gonna do both but before this like runs off my face, let me, let me do it with this brush. I actually, my hands are clean, but I like my hands to be like super, super clean when I touch my face with them. So maybe I'll just use this brush, but you could also just use your hands to apply this foundation. All right, you guys are really gonna be able to see this side. So here we go. And I'm more so like pressing into the skin. If you can tell, like I'm not doing too many swiping motions. I'm pressing this, this product into my face um, as opposed to like wiping because then it just goes everywhere. So if you press it into the skin, it's going to give it that like the look that it's, you know, it's your real skin. You're really like trying to get your skin to absorb the product. And then like here towards like around my ears and stuff, I will like use this swipey motion a little bit, but for the most part, I'm pushing the product into my skin. So there's really nothing on my forehead. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply just a little bit more and again, just be super careful because it's very, very watery. It's a really 
nice consistency. Again, pushing that product in and you can just see the coverage. It just has my skin glowing, which I love. Um, and it's really, really nice. It is not cakey at all. Um, it really gives you that like no makeup makeup look flawlessly. And I love again that it's like a skincare product. It actually is gonna take care of your skin. It's gonna hydrate your skin. Um, so if you, I would say like if you are, um, if you have dry skin, you would love this foundation because it's very hydrating. So there it is. I think you guys can like see the difference. I really didn't apply that much. I think a little bit goes quite a long way. Um, and it really gives you like a beautiful, beautiful coverage. You could probably do another layer if you wanted to, but I don't think I need one. So I'm going to leave it as is. Um, looking at it on camera, it actually like, it looks lighter than it is in person because this is like looking at my neck and it matches like how tan I am right now, actually like pretty well. So again, I have a shade 5.5, which is medium with olive undertones. Um, and it's really, really beautiful. I love this. It has really, I can't see the pores as much on my nose. It's really covered that up. And just given, again, a beautiful look. It hasn't like over mattified me. I am, my skin is actually glowing. It's really, really pretty. It's just on camera, it looks a little, a lot lighter than it does in person actually. But I love, super, super nice. Um, I really, really like it, you guys. I'm super impressed with it. Again, the fact that it's, and it says tinted face oil. So exactly, this consistency, you could see like it was almost, it was very oily. Um, but that is going to just like make your skin glow. Um, it's really, really pretty. And if you are oily in your T-zone like I am, then you can just set the makeup afterwards with a translucent setting powder just so that you don't get too oily. Um, but otherwise I always would rather have a product that is more oily, um, and it's hydrating than the opposite. So love this. I'm super impressed. I think it's a great product. Um, as you guys know, or if you don't know during this live in 30 minutes afterwards, you guys can get 15% off anything you purchase. So you would be able to get this for 35 as opposed to 42, which is the retail full price. So I like it so much. So that's that one. Now the next three products that I will be using are all from the same brand. Lila B. This is a clean, um, clean makeup brand. And I'm very excited. I actually have seen their products um, on Instagram and like other people using them. So I was super excited to get all of these in. Um, I'm going to start with this little duo here and present that to you guys next. So this is the Divine Duo Lip and Cheek. Okay, first of all, love the packaging. It's like glass, um, super cute. And then you just slide it right open. You can see I already used it this week because I wanted to try it out before I got on this live. And it's really beautiful. It comes in other shades um, as well. This is, let's see. If this will tell me what shade I have, Be True Divine Duo Lip and Cheek. I thought it would tell me what shade I have, but I don't see it anywhere. Okay, forget that. So what I love is that it's multi-purpose, right? So this is a blush and you can also use it on your lips to like tint them like a lip stick or lip gloss. So I love that it does both. And I'm just going to apply it with my hands. Um, and I love products that I can do that with. It's a little hard for me to do that with my um, nails. But you can see the pigment right there. It's a gorgeous color. And this is buildable. So the more pigmented you want it, you just apply more. Um, and this one, you just apply right to the skin with your fingertips. I would recommend. I wouldn't apply this with a brush or anything. I think just with your fingertips is the best. Another great thing about applying makeup products with your hands is that the warmth in your hands is really going to allow the makeup to melt right into your skin, which is what you want for that no makeup makeup look. You want it to really melt into your skin and look like your skin and not, you know, super cakey, powdery, dry. So I 
in person again I think it I can see it a little bit better but I think you guys can see um the color on my cheeks now which is super pretty so I'm just gonna apply a little bit more and then I'm gonna do my other cheeks but it's just such a gorgeous gorgeous color what I like to do too with blush I love blush it's one of those pro makeup products that I don't think I could live without because without it I feel like my face is so flat and it doesn't like look alive I feel like blush just really makes you come alive it makes you look alive I guess and just like with color it just really adds something and um, adds dimension to your face so I like to put my blush everywhere where I would naturally tan or you know where the sun would naturally hit me so it almost looks like I have a sun-kissed face um, that's what I like to do so I, you can see that I was kind of like going here because this is where the sun would naturally hit I also put a little bit on my nose um, right here on the bridge of my nose because the sun would naturally hit there as well. Um, I do a little bit um, above my brow bone. Just all the places that the sun naturally hits and makes you look really sun-kissed. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the other side. It's so pretty. And I love how tiny and compa compact this is because it's so easy to travel with. It's so easy to put in your purse. Um, and it just gives the most gorgeous color. And this, I have a feeling, would last a really, really long time because a little does go a long way and it's blendable. So I already look so much better. <laughs> I look so much more put together and alive and I love that. That's what the goal is with makeup. It's not in for me, and this look specifically, it's not to like transform my face, it's just to make me look more put together. Um, hide those pores and kind of just make my face come alive and give it a little bit more like contour and stuff like that. So I really, really, really like this product. If and another tip, especially for the summertime, if you want a really glowy look and you don't want your makeup to be cakey or dry or any of that, a tip is to use as many cream products as you can and stay away from powder. Um, the only time I really use a powder product um, during the summertime, especially when I'm doing my makeup, is when I'm, the only powder I use is like a translucent setting powder just to set everything so I don't get too oily throughout the day. But otherwise, I stick to cream products because that is going to make you the most glowy. It's going to, it's not going to over dry your skin. It's not going to make it look too cakey. Um, and then a powder is important to just like set everything that so that it stays in place because obviously a cream or liquid product is going to be more likely to slide around your face. So you do want to make sure that you set it with a setting powder afterwards um, and also use like a setting spray so that it really like stays in place. But that is the biggest tip. Definitely stick to as many cream products as you can. So I've been using a liquid blush for like two years now and haven't gone back and I'm super excited to add this one to my collection because it's gorgeous and again I really love how tiny it is so it just like slides down to that it's so easy to carry around with you and now I'm gonna apply it to my lips as well because you can use it for both which I think is awesome and also to have the same color on your cheeks and your lips I think it's just gonna like bring it all together and make it like really um, streamlined and beautiful so I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And normally I line my lips and you could totally still do that obviously with a color that is similar to this, but for a no makeup makeup look, I really like to make it as natural as possible. So I am not lining my lips today. I'm trying to get like super close to my mirror. It's definitely very subtle. But it definitely gave my lips some color as you can see. So like it's not, this is not my natural color anymore. It's really pretty, it's not um, it's not drying at all. I'm just like really <laughs> zooming in here. Um, 
it's pretty. It's not drying at all. It definitely works as a duo like it's meant to. So I love a product that's a two-in-one. You get more bang for your buck and are able to like travel with less. I am one who like loves traveling with as little as possible, which might be surprising to a lot of people because I love clothes and fashion, but I like to travel with as least amount of things as possible. So if I can travel with just this one thing that's going to do my blush and lips, like that's a win-win for me. So love this product. Definitely recommend that. Now for another lip product that I've actually seen um, all over, not all over, but I've seen it on Instagram is their lip treatment oil, which is the next thing I'm going to share. I'm presenting it now to you guys. So this is also from Lila B, again, a clean makeup brand. And this is their lip treatment oil. Now, I actually don't think, um, I have it in, okay, I thought it was, it won't give a color because I have it in the clear. So this is going to be no color, it's just gonna be a gloss, but they do have this in color. So they have a tint, they have tinted, lip treatment oils as well and I almost wish I got that but I think this is great too because you can just apply this over any lipstick that you're wearing and it's going to just like give your lips that glossy look and it's also since it's a treatment oil it's going to hydrate them nourish your lips not you know get them to look very nourished hydrated voluptuous all that good stuff so but they do have um some tinted ones which I think is awesome and I definitely want to try that Oh, I've been applying this almost every day this week because I love to really like nourish my lips and get them like super hydrated. Um, I obviously like no one likes trapped lips, but I just really, really don't. So I like to keep my lips nice and hydrated. So you can see the applicator is nice and big too. That's what I like about it as well. So I'm going to apply this over the um, lip stuff, obviously, that I had just put on. And it's obviously going to tint the applicator a little bit, but it instantly, like, see that shine on the, my bottom lip already? It is so hydrating and it feels really nice on the lips. So I'm going to apply it a little bit more to my top lip as well. feels so good. <laughs> so you guys can see just like how shiny my lips are. And you can see the tint from the um, stuff I put on my lips too. So it definitely was there and it definitely was pigmented. So that I, I love this product. I love a good lip gloss, something again, that's more of like a skincare product that's going to double and like nourish and treat my lips but also like make them look nice and glossy. It feels so nice. And actually, I really like the combo of the two as well. This definitely lightened up the tint that was on my lips. And I think it looks really, really pretty. I am dying to try now one of their tinted um, lip treatment oils because I really, really like this one. Again, I got the clear just so that I could apply it throughout the day, like on a daily basis. But now that I know how good it is, I definitely want to get one of the tinted ones because they have like some really gorgeous shades. Um, since I'm presenting the product to you guys right now, you should be able to just like click on it and see what I'm talking about. Like go to the brand's product page and check it out. Um, definitely highly recommend this product. It feels so good. Like my lips just feel so hydrated and nice. So now to just like finish everything off, another Lila B product. I'm going to present, is there a glow face mist? I love a good face mist. I love a good setting spray, all of that. This is just going to like lock everything in. It's going to give your skin even more hydration. Um, and I still have the box here because I wanted to read to you guys some of the benefits on here. So it says set, refresh, and hydrate. The sheer lightweight mist invigorates and enlivens, delivering hydration while fortifying the skin with beneficial botanicals. That, doesn't that just sound amazing? Like hydrate your skin and like give it some like good stuff too. Um, a glow helps to maintain a flawless complexion, setting makeup for longer lasting wear, which is benefit number one, brightening dullness with a refreshing dewy glow. Love that. Like 
that is like magic in a bottle to me. I think it's super important to always use a setting spray after makeup for obvious, obvious reasons, like for longer wear to like really like hydrate your skin, lock it all together and give you like a dewy glow and just refresh. And what's great about this is that you can also like you can spray it throughout the day too. Or like say you're out at a, an event and you have this in your purse and you're feeling like, you know, you need a little refresh you can just like spray it quickly and just like refresh your face and like give it that back that glow that you had when you initially applied your makeup. So I love that. It says it's infused with lavender essential oil. Lavender is actually supposed to be really good for the skin too. Um, providing a soothing sense of well-being. It's just like... I love this product. So I'm going to apply it now to finish off this no makeup makeup look. Um, here is the bottle and ooh, definitely a lot comes out. So that feels so good. Honestly, looking at my skin now, you guys, it looks really, really bomb with all these products that I just put on. Like no exaggerating or joke here. I love all of these. If I were, I always like try to like pick one product if I could like recommend the most to you guys. I always try to pick one, like which one would I like really, really recommend? I guess it, I think it depends what you're maybe lacking um, or something that you might feel like you need more than something else. Um, honestly, this face oil was so bomb. If you need just like an everyday um, tinted, this is almost like it reminds me of like a CC cream or like a tinted moisturizer because it's so hydrating. If you need something like that, I highly recommend this. I really do. It just looks so gorgeous on the skin. And it look, my skin is glowing. Like, I don't have any highlighter on. I didn't apply any other products than these that you guys see here. It really makes your skin glow. It feels really nice on the skin. It is not cakey at all. Um, it's really, really pretty. And you can build on it to get more of a medium coverage or just, like, keep it light coverage. I think this is great for, like, every day. If you're going back into the office and you don't like to apply a lot of makeup for work or if you go to the gym and you don't like to be, like, completely no makeup and you just, like, need something to kind of, like, you know, make yourself look a little, like, have more even skin tone, I highly recommend this product right here. Um, if you're in need of a lip treatment oil, um, you suffer with like dry lips, I definitely recommend this. And especially it does again come in tinted versions as well. Um, if you don't have a setting spray, highly recommend this again because this is like skincare, you guys. It's not just like a makeup product. It also doubles as skincare. So I think this is really, really awesome. Um, I think a lot of people are already set on their blushes and stuff. But if you don't have a cream blush, I highly recommend getting this. Um, Again, like I said, if you use all cream products, it's going to make your skin glow the most. Um, it's going to give it that like glow from within look. It's going to look the most natural. So definitely try to use as many liquid and cream products as you can. So if you don't have a liquid or cream blush, I do recommend this. And I love that it's um, a duo. So it can be used for your lips as well. And it's so compact and tiny and cute. And I would, I'm not even going to recommend this because it's currently sold out. But um, otherwise, all of these products I absolutely love. So I guess we only have two minutes here. I want to thank you guys again for joining me on today's live. I had so much fun. I, I love talking about beauty products. I primarily like to focus on fashion, especially if you follow me on Instagram. I am all sharing like fashion constantly, but I do love talking about makeup um, and skincare products. And these double as skincare because they're all good for your skin. So thank you for being here. I hope you guys join me during next weekend's live. Um, same time next Sunday, I will be doing skin, sharing skincare products. So I hope you guys will join me then and I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday.